right, so that was the beat. Let's get right into this melody. So we've got the main instrument, this piano. And that's the main chord progression. It's a... Uh... All right, and then we've got this other sound. And it's playing the top notes of the chords. So you go to the chords, and it's playing every note that sits on the very top, which are called the leading tone, which is the note you hear the most, you know? So this is if the whole loop was just piano. Yeah, it doesn't sound that good. It doesn't sound interesting. Then we put the top layer. Definitely adds a lot more flavor, but the final ingredient was adding that instrument to the melody as well, for sure. Okay, so it's all about choosing two sounds that are different enough, but also similar enough, and then stacking them on each other. and. In this case, they play slightly different notes, or one plays parts of the other, because you don't want to get it too overwhelmed. And then the piano, it's very active down here in the, you know, 300 to 900, mostly 3 to 600 hertz. So you want to let it stay down there and do its thing, take off a little bit of the highs, and then you take this guy and he's all in this like one to three kilohertz range so you let him sit there and they just kind of sit on top of each other and what you get is a full spectrum sound and that's just like the definition of full is a full spectrum sound so you want to be layering your chords layering your melodies because it's without layering them they're weak Cool, so, yeah, and Omnisphere is basically just preset layered sounds. So you can create your own customizable Omnisphere sounds if you just layer sounds. So then we have the melody, and if you look at this melody, just like this is playing top notes of the chord, the melody, this right here, oh, let me go to this one. This right here, if I copy that command C scroll up here guess what it is literally like almost the exact same notes it's it's basically playing the top notes but playing them down low and then instead of this note I used a different one because it just added a different coloration that's how you get more jazzy is adding different coloring notes yeah, it's like a, it's like you're painting a picture when you add notes together. Yeah, so it's really simple because I didn't have to guess. I just picked a chord progression. And then all these other notes started to come into place easily. It's like, all right, there's those. And I just added that, like that comes next. That. And then I think what really sells it is this extra layer on top. Very big. Put them all in one reverb room. You know, low pre-delay, short decay. All that big size. And yeah, this sells it because this is a completely different chord progression. In a way. So. Very, you know, uh, angsty, but also jazzy. It's like not sad, but it's thoughtful. And you combine that with this like objectively upbeat, somewhat happy chord progression with this more thoughtful one on top. And then you get, it's a pretty cool effect. It's like, it's, it's very cool. And you've basically, in reality, you've just copy this. You've really just created not two chord progressions, but one extended chord progression. So it'd be like having this. 
that's that's sick. I love that. And it sounds even better when you have it spread across different instruments. And that's really the focus of this entire video is taking basically one giant sound, give or take the notes in between like all these, and spreading it out across six, five, six different instruments that all have a general characteristic they share. And you create a big wall of sound. It's what they do in orchestras. You have the basses play a G, the cellos share uh, a C and an F, and the violins are playing high E, and it creates this giant wall of sound, and it's 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 amazing.